Hi, and this is V here, and we are in the lockdown lab once again. And today we are going to look at an experiment that determines the effect of the concentration of hydrochloric acid on its rate of reaction with marble chips. So for this, I'm going to need some marble chips, various concentrations of hydrochloric acid, an electronic balance, and a stopwatch. Okay, I have poured 125 mils of the hydrochloric acid into my beaker, and now I'm going to weigh out 10 grams of marble chips. It doesn't have to be exactly 10 grams, just a roundabout. Maybe that's a little bit too much. That'll do just fine. So let's write that down that we have 10.32 grams of marble chips. All right, so I'm going to put my acid on the balance. And then I'm going, my start weight is going to be that plus the mass of my marble chips. So don't forget to add that in. I'm going to tip the marble chips in and start the timer. And we're just going to watch and see what happens. Ready, set, go. As the carbon dioxide is produced, my mass is decreasing. Every 20 seconds, I want you to note down the mass. We can calculate the mass of carbon dioxide being given off by subtracting our mass from the original mass. One minute done, two to go. Just goes to show not all chemistry experiments are super exciting. So you remember that we used around about 10 grams of marble chips. So we're going to weigh that out again. That will do. So 10.38 grams. Make sure you know that so that you can add that to your starting as your starting mass. We're going to use one mole per litre hydrochloric acid for this experiment, which is half as concentrated as in the original experiment. So there's your starting mass. Remember to add the mass of the marble chips. And here we go. Ready, set, go. I want you to record the mass at the one minute mark and at the two minute mark.
Getting ready for the one minute recording. Go. Just 30 seconds to go. Three, two, one. Read it. Okay, this time we're going to use three moles per litre hydrochloric acid and we're going to weigh our 10 grams of marble chips. That will be just fine. So remember, we're going to add 10.11 grams to our starting mass. Okay, here we go. Three mole per litre acid with 10.11 grams of marble chips. Remember to add that to our starting mass. Now I've put the beaker inside a plastic container just in case the reaction is a little fast this time. Let's see. Ready, set, go. No, not too bad. Remember, we're going to record the mass at the one minute and the two minute mark. Get ready to record that one minute mark mass. Two, one, read it. 30 seconds to go. Get ready to record that two minute mark mass. Three, two, one. Read it, 221.21. Okay, four mole per litre acid this time. Let's measure out our 10 grams of marble chips. Oh, pretty close, 10.01 grams. Okay, we are going to add the 10.01 grams to our starting mass. Let's put our plastic tray. Here's our beaker of four molar acid. And let's go. Ready, set, go.
remember we want the mass at the one minute mark and the two minute mark. Getting ready for that first reading. Three, two, one, two, one, seven point eight two. And 30 seconds to go. Getting ready for that final reading. Three, two, one. 216.73 and last one six mole per litre acid let's weigh our 10 grams of marble chips a bit much. that'll do so remember we're adding 10.26 grams to our starting mass and let's get our plastic container and our beaker of acid. And we are ready, set, go. Getting ready for our first balance reading. Three, two, one, two, two, five point six zero. I think my beaker's going to hold until the end. It's getting close to overflowing though. Thirty seconds left in the experiment, guys. And ready to read it. Now, 224.24. Two, we have all our data now. What I think we can do now is calculate the rate of reaction for the first minute and for the second minute for each of those different acid concentrations. And then we can compare the rate of reaction with different acid concentrations. If you found this video fun, 
useful or relevant to your coursework, please give it a like and please subscribe to my channel for some more exciting chemistry videos. I will see you guys in the next video.